Welcome to Car Design Academy, where we help aspiring designers master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training and personal mentoring. Today we're going to be sketching two very functional vehicles. We're going to be sketching a pickup truck and a cargo van. We're going to illustrate some of the key differences in the proportions and silhouette of these two vehicles. So we're going to start with the pickup truck. And the pickup truck is what we call a three box design. So I'm going to start with my ground plane. And both of these vehicles are going to have very long wheelbases. So we're going to go beyond the five wheel ratio. Uh, even with the pickup truck having fairly large diameter tires, uh, pickup trucks are very, very long because the cabin and the cargo area are completely separated. So I'm going to go ahead and draw five and a half wheels. And this will be the wheelbase for our pickup truck. Pickup trucks also have a fairly high ground clearance. So we're going to align the bottom of the vehicle to the wheel centers. So I'm also going to draw some fairly large wheel openings uh, to enable a lot of suspension travel as the vehicle is clearing obstacles. Uh, Off-road capability is important on uh, most pickup trucks. So with that, we're also going to have this very, very strong uh, frontal approach angle, but we're going to have a more relaxed departure angle because we need that rear overhang for the, the length of the bed. We're going to be drawing through the form with our key character lines. The overall height of a truck is going to be quite a bit taller as well. So we're going to go above the two tire the two diameter limit and we're going to go towards something more like two and a half. The character lines on most pickup trucks are quite level. Not a lot of, of what we call wedge uh, because, um, because pickups are often available in different lengths, different bed lengths, different cab lengths, they need to be able to keep all the character lines running through with different lengths of body panels. Also, pickup trucks usually have a very, very upright grill, very prominent hood or bonnet uh, to make them look tough and, and, and uh, powerful. The uh, windscreen is going to touch down um, behind the front wheel, but aiming at the sort of top of the front wheel. And then because the bed and the cabin are fully separated, I'm going to draw um, a line running through and there, there actually, there actually is a, a typical uh, gap between the, the cab and the bed to enable the truck to flex and twist as it's going over off-road obstacles. We might see some of that underbody and suspension because of the high rocker. We might introduce some rugged elements on the wheel openings, on the uh, around the wheel houses. Because this is an off-road capable vehicle, we're also going to have fairly large uh, tire sidewalls and small rims. This is again to allow the, uh, allow the vehicle to clear obstacles without damage to the rims. So as I said, this is, this is a three box design. This is what we call a three box design, which means the, the engine, the passenger cabin and the cargo area are completely separate volumes, completely separate elements. Now let's contrast that with a cargo van. And so unlike a pickup truck, which is a three box design, a cargo van is what we call a one box design or a monovolume. And that's because the entire silhouette of the van is going to be uh, kind of contained within this one shape. And that's to maximize interior space, cargo space, for the footprint of the vehicle. Also, cargo vans have uh, smaller tires and very long wheelbases, so we're going to go well beyond the five tire ratio. We're going to probably go closer to six wheels. So we're going to go to about five and a half, five and three quarter wheels. We're also going to have a little bit less ground clearance just below the wheel centers. 
Still a fairly long rear overhang for cargo space. And then we're going to have an overall height that is over three diameters tall. So as I said, the, the, the van is a mono volume or a one box. And so the windscreen is going to come down well past the center of the front wheel. Oftentimes cargo vans have a more dynamic character line on the uh, body side. So not, not quite so level because they usually come in only one length. But sometimes they come in multiple lengths. In many cases, a cargo van doesn't have any windows past the front door, especially if it's, if it's really geared more towards business use or cargo use versus uh, passenger usage. And so this is the key proportional difference between a three box design, a pickup truck in which the engine the passenger volume and the cargo volume are completely separate versus a one box design where engine, passenger, and cargo are all contained within a single volume. If you're looking to take your car design career to the next level, you need a mentor who can show you the way. Go to www.cardesign.academy and book a free discovery call. We can help you map out a strategy to master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training and personal mentoring. Whether you're just starting out on the journey or you're looking to level up, subscribe to our channel and be sure to follow us on Instagram at cardesign.academy.